Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. How can I help you? Uh, well, I just received a call uh, from your company stating that uh, I needed to contact you right away. Okay. okay. Can I have your first name and your last name? Yeah. So I can pull out your case file. Yeah, yeah, it's Rick. So, R-I-C-K, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm right? Yes, you are. Okay, just give me a moment. Sure. Okay. I got it. Okay. The reason to give you call is to inform you that there is a case filed against your name by the Internal Revenue Service regarding a tax evasion and the arrest warrant issued on your name. Do you have any idea regarding this case? What was that last part? Sir, there is a case filed against your name by the Internal Revenue Service regarding a tax evasion and the arrest warrant issued on your name. Oh, an arrest warrant? Do you have warrant. any idea regarding this case? So There's an arrest warrant out for me? Yes, of course. What do you mean, of course? Regarding a tax evasion, you owe the IRS money. Yeah, you don't have to scold me. What's your name, sir? My name is Officer John Chester. Officer John? John Chester, C-H-E-S-T-E-R. John Chester. Okay, John Chester, what's on your mind? Okay, so do you have any idea regarding this case? No. No, I, this is the first I've heard of it. I, okay, so let me provide you some information regarding this case. So get the pen and piece of paper handy uh -huh. so that you can write it down the details which I am going to provide you, okay? Okay. Okay, once you're ready, let me know. I am ready. Okay, write down your case ID number. Okay. C as in Charlie. G as in Charlie. G as in Dalda. What? As in what? D as in... D Listen. D as in Delta. Delta. Got it. C as in Charlie. Mm hmm Number six, one, four, seven, and write down my name. I, I wrote my down name is John Chester. Yeah, I wrote down your name already. Sorry, sir? I wrote down your name already. Okay, and write down my badge ID number. Yeah, 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 let's get that. Says, that? I as an in internal, R as in revenue. M has been member number nine nine three six. Okay. IRM nine nine three six. Got it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Can you verify me your case ID number? Uh, you said it was DC sixty one forty seven. Oh right. Okay. Now I am going to read out an affidavit for you. So do not interrupt me while I am reading the affidavit for you. Reading the what? When I will... Read affidavit. The... What? What is an affidavit? Affidavit? Affidavit. Affidavit. Yes. What is an affidavit? Listen to me. I am listening to you. Don't you get so sorry with me. Listen, Officer Chester, you don't get to yell at me over the phone, okay? Don't they you scold me. Don't you scold me over the phone. You be nice. From now on, Why? you Why are you? Huh? Listen, I would like to inform you that the line 
on which we are talking right now yeah. is being recorded oh, yeah. and monitored by the IRS and the local authorities of your state oh, and sure. I will patrolling officer, okay? Okay. So listen carefully. I am listening carefully. Now I am going to read out an affidavit for you. Again, what so is do an not interrupt what, me. What, what is an affidavit? So do not interrupt me You're not while I am course. reading the affidavit. You haven't, uh, you haven't started reading it yet. So I'm not interrupting you. What I'm asking you is what is an affidavit? What does that mean? Sir, I arrest doing a random audit on every citizen what? in every five years. What? It's an asshole. Hey, don't you call me an asshole, John Chester. I'll reach to this phone and slap the shit out of you. If you've got business with the IRS, let's get to it. But don't you call me an asshole. asshole. I said do not call me an asshole over the telephone or I'll reach to this fucking phone. Slap the shit out of you. What? Motherfucker. What are you calling me a motherfucker for? You called me, you dumbass. So, Seriously. Why don't you go get a job? For use as part of a talking picture, the sound to accompany the photographed action must be recorded for reproduction when the picture is shown. I'm having some technical difficulties here. Could you just kind of start over? Now, you said your name was uh, David uh, Wichter, and you work for Spectrum. Okay. No problem. I need to write all this down. Could you just start over? Sir, please grab the pen and paper. Write down my name, my number, in case in the future, when you face any problem, do call me. I am very much happy to help you, sir. Okay, what's your name? My name is David Victor. Okay. David? My call Victor. V I C T O R. Victor. Uh, v I C T O R. Victor. I got it. And what's your number? Yeah. My call back number 747. Okay. 212. Uh huh. 212. Two, two, five, five, four. Two. In case, in the future, when, yes, yeah. two, five, five, four. Okay. In the case, in the future, when you face any problem, do call me. I am very much happy to help you, sir. Okay. okay? Well, you're just talking about problems with the, with the uh, Spectrum Cable Company, though, right? You're not talking about any other problems, are you? Yes, sir. Please verify me. How would pay you like this fee? Only one time fee. $199.99. Well, only okay. one time fee, sir. Your next three months will be zero dollar. Okay? Uh huh. The next three months. Me. The next three months yeah. are going to be zero dollars, and then for two years it's fifty dollars off a month, right? Yeah, yes. Oh, your, your January bill will be lower down. Your January bill will be uh, $100. Oh, I thought you said it was only going to be $50 a month cheaper. It's going to be $82 a month cheaper? Yeah. Yes. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah, please, sir. Please verify me how would pay you like this fee, $199.99, sir. Well, I please verify me how would pay you like this fee by your credit or debit card by your rechecking account, sir. Well, I'd appreciate it if uh, we could just use my, my debit card, my credit debit card. Okay, please grab the debit card in your hand. I grab a debit. What do you What do you need? I am putting the discount in your monthly bill, sir. Please grab the debit card in your hand. I already grab a debit card in my hand. Oh, please, or verify me, sir. On a uh, sixteen-digit debit card number. The sixteen-digit grab a debit card number. Is forty one twenty what what four what please, please slowly repeat me sir slowly 
Slowly repeat me. It's 4123. 41 That's right. And then it's 4567. No, 4567. Yes, 4567. That's right. 8910. Yeah. Yeah. It's awful loud in your office. Can you hear me okay? What's your last four digits, sir? Well, it's one, 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 two. One, one. One, 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 two. Yep. Please hold on. Let me catch it. Yeah. You bet there, uh, David uh, Wichter. Oh. How long have you been working for Spectrum Cable, uh, David Wichter? What? How long have you been working for, for Spectrum Cable, David Wichter? Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. You've been working there a long time? Oh, this card is unvalid, sir. Please. Oh, I know the card is good. I just bought a set of electric spatulas this morning, along with a Waffle Tron Where are you waffle maker. Where are you kidding with me, sir? Where are you kidding with me, sir? Where are you kidding? Why would I kid Where with you? you Why would I be kidding with you, David Wichter? Why would I do that? Fuck you, motherfucker. Wait, well, you like being on YouTube? What do you think your parents are going to see? think of this video? Your parents are going to just be so proud of you when they see you on YouTube? What do you think about that? I am cancel this service. You're going to cancel the service? You don't even work for Spectrum. You're a phone scammer. You can't cancel anything. <laughs> oh, these guys. They just, uh, they just love to call me. I don't know why, but they do. The sound and picture are usually photographed on separate films, which are called negatives. These negatives are combined by ordinary photographic printing to produce the positive print, which is used in the theater to reproduce the original picture and sound. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hi, my name is Archer Lewis at American Deck Council. Well, the reason I'm calling you today is to share a unique solution on how to stop obsessing over your debt. During the highest inflation of all time, we're unable to save for emergency fund. Even carried debt also affects your mental health. So if you're overthinking about your debt and looking for a guaranteed solution, I can connect you with my senior manager right now. Okay? Okay. Please hold. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi. This is Elizabeth Esposito. Um, first, I want to thank you for keeping your line open for me, and more importantly, for your patience today. Um, I'm a certified underwriting officer calling to assist you in completing your debt profile. Um, who am I speaking with today? You don't know my name? I don't have your information in front of me, so please go ahead and confirm your first and last name so that I may proceed. Okay. okay? Well, my first name is Chill. My middle initial is D. And the last name is Miller. I can see that you're here for financial relief. And in order for me to help you, would you like to share what kind of financial challenges you are facing right now? Uh, it's uh, mostly because I don't have enough money to pay my bills. You know, for example, people are having a hard time paying their credit card debt, personal loans, medical bills, student loans. Um, car loans, you know, things like that. Yeah, that's kind of the stuff I was talking about, uh, Ms. Esposito. All right, no problem. We can definitely help you, and we are so unlike these banks. 
Why? Well, because we don't qualify our clients based on their credit score. I mean, it doesn't even matter to us how bad your credit score is. We still help. Oh. Their banks try not to help, and they disqualify people by putting remarks, and those remarks are typically false. What? And they don't even share all the great programs with you that can actually help you. Really? Am I making sense to you? Well, I'm just kind of surprised by that. It kind of sounds like the banks are the bad guys, the way you put it. Hello? My company's name is Amanda. Is what? My manager would like to speak with you, so hold for just a moment. Okay, what did you say the name of the company was? Uh, it cut out there for a second. Now the scammers got me on hold and weather outside is getting cold. Maybe they're trying to rob me just so they can feed themselves. I don't know. Hello? Hello? Park is the senior manager. Who do I have a pleasure speaking with? Well, my name is Chill. Last name Miller. Okay, Jim Miller. No, Chill. First name is Chill. C H I L L. Hey. Hey, what? This. The middle initial is D. And the last name is Miller. It's Chill D. Miller. Oh, okay. That's a very nice name. Oh, thanks. What was your and name? How many credit cards do you have in total? I, I don't know. Three? Two of them got a balance. One of them's paid off. Okay. And what did you say your name was again? What do you mean by that? I just mean by what? I just forgot what your name was. I, I haven't written it down. So I mean, I mean, uh, what was your name? Hey, I guess you're playing with me to not waste my time. Okay. I'm all I did, all I did was. Like, you were a jerk, you know. You were a jerk. Yeah, yeah, I'm a jerk. But you're a phone scammer. All I did was ask you what your name was, Punky. How do you like being on YouTube? You know your mom and you know you know you know your mom and dad are gonna see this. They're gonna be really proud of you for being a phone scammer. Your one grandma's gonna beat the snot out of you with an umbrella, and your other grandma's gonna hit you in the head with an iron, cause you're a phone scammer. You're so lazy that you just rob people over the phone. Come on, dude. Way to shame your whole family all at once. Scammer. As I speak, the sound waves produced by my voice are transmitted through the air to the microphone where these sound waves are converted to changes in an electric current. These variations in the electric current are then amplified and used to control the light falling on the photographic film. The light that falls upon the photographic film is in the form of a fine bright line extending transversely of the direction in which the film moves. The part of the film on which the line of light falls to make the photographic sound record is called the sound track. Oh, hello. 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 Yes, uh, my name is John and I'm with Solar Energy Pro. Uh, I, sh I was just calling you today because you have been selected um, by the state of um, Wisconsin um, just to uh, school like um, um, 15 to 20 minutes, uh, whether it be online or on site, to provide you with some information about um, the state's um, new program to go green and uh, save you tons of dollars on your electricity bill. Okay. Um, so let me ask you a question. Uh, do you have, um, uh, I, sh I was just um, by this um, and, um, just to ask um, 
um, it's a withered um, um, new. And do you have shingle roof? Yeah, I got a shingle roof. Okay, excellent. Um, and also, to qualify for this state program, you have to have a credit score of at least 650 um, or above. Do you have a credit score of 650? Well, I don't know. I haven't run it lately. So th that means you do or you do not? I don't have any idea. Who runs their credit score every day? What did you say your name was again? Uh... I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you well. What, what did just, you say? I forgot what your name was. That's all. I should have written it down. My, na my name is John. John. Say, John, I just yeah. don't know my credit score off the top of my head. I pay my bills, if that helps, but I don't know what it is. I'm it sure it's be, fine. Uh, be probably be, it must be more than 650 or, you know. I would think so. On time. I don't know. Is 650 good? I don't know. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it's it's good. Yes. Okay. Fifty is good. Okay. Um. Um. So let's see here. Um. Uh, well, actually, this uh, this appointment is just solely for information and educational purposes, and it's not a commitment to purchase anything. You're not purchasing anything. Uh. So you authorize the contractors. Um. Just to contact you with additional solar information, even if you are on the DNC list. Okay. John, yeah. now if I'm on the do not call list, you wouldn't be able to call me legally, would you? Um, um, no. so that means you uh, probably be, must be, you know. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, it's it's good. Um, uh, so you um just uh if you're on a DNC list and you authorize that we call you, that's no problem. You no, no, that wasn't call. my question, John. My question to you is if I am on the do not call list. Is it legal for you to call me? We're on the phone right now. You called me. Do you think my name is on the do not call list? I don't think so. That means did that's you why check? I was able to call Did you, you check? That's why I was able to call you. If you're on the DNC list, I wouldn't be able to get through to you. Oh, so, so you didn't check or you did check? Um, uh... Yes, um, uh, I sh um, just, um, uh, well, it's a system and it's automatically put people that request to be put on a DNC list. Um, it gets verified 26, 24 to 48 hours. So that's what I'm asking you. Uh, do you authorize the contractor to contact you with the additional SOAR information? Well, if I am on the do not call list, then you shouldn't be calling me in the first place, and this whole thing is just some kind of scam. You know what I mean there, John? I don't think so. That means uh, if you're in a... Uh, wouldn't, uh, well, it, um, it, uh, there is no scam. What scam? There's actually millions of Americans out there that has been saving or cutting off their electricity bill completely. And let me tell you something as well. Um, when you have a solar system on your house, you can sell electricity back to the power a station. A solar system yes. on your house? How in the world is my house going to hold up the entire solar system? Oh, so you live in a trailer? Is that what you mean? No, no I don't live in a trailer. I didn't say that. Uh, so what did you say exactly? Well, you said something about the solar system on the roof of my house. That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, that doesn't make any sense? You, you don't know uh, the solar system? The you solar system, one. John, the solar system is huge. It's got the sun and the earth and all the planets in it. Mercury and Venus and Pluto and all of them. That's what the solar system is, okay? You can't put that well, on the roof of your house. Well, okay. That's <laughs> so funny. Anyway, so I understand what you were saying. You're technically talking about uh, the solar system and the universe. But I was talking well, about... Well, that's what you're talking different. about. You said solar system, and that's what the solar system is. No, the solar system I'm talking about is the photo sensor that are on top of the houses that generates light to electricity. 
Generates light to electricity. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about now. So, um, it's referred so to it, as uh, I believe it's referred to as photovoltaic or PV for short is what you're referring to then. Huh? Yeah, that's that's about close. Exactly. About close, exactly. That's right. Yep. So. What are you? Uh, what I'm gonna have here is that I'm gonna set you up for an appointment, um, just for the you know technically trained people. Uh, to at be this, able to at this point, at this point, it's me that's technically training you. Uh, I hope whoever they are, they know more than you do. You don't even know what the solar system is. That's crazy. Well, well, the technical people, of course, they know more uh, about okay. this because they've been doing it for years. Oh, a year, okay. Years. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and you know set you up for an appointment. Um, uh, is that fine with you? Well, what about the do not call list? You still haven't gotten to the bottom of that. Well, that's what I'm saying. This appointment is just solely for information and educational purposes. And it's not any commitment to purchase anything. Yeah, so you said that you, already. Do so do you authorize the contractors to contact you with additional sort of information? Not if I'm on if the, on the not, not if I'm on the do not call list. If I'm on the do not call list, then it's not okay for you to call me. And how could someone call someone but, and then ask them if they're on the do not call list? Shouldn't you already know? You, because you are you are not on the do, do not call list. Yes, I am. You are. Yeah. Okay. I've been on the do not call list for years. It's illegal for you to call me. What's the name if of your you company are, again? Well, if you are, uh, the, you wouldn't be able to get contacted ever. But but you're you're, not on the but yeah, and yet we're talking on the phone, and yet we're talking on the phone. Now, how could that be? You think maybe that you don't understand what the do not call list is or the company that you work for maybe doesn't follow the law regarding the do not call list? Do you think that's a possibility? Sir, Sir but you're not. The I'm thing not, is, is that I'm not what? Not. I'm not what? You're not on the do not call list. Yes, I am. Absolutely not. Yes, the I am. Not allow Who are you to tell me whether or not I'm on the do not call list or not? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? I am on the do not call list, the national, federal, do not call list. And yet scammers like you call me every day. You can tell that you're scammers because you're calling. I'm not a scam. This is not a scam call or yeah, any yeah, sort yeah, of I'm on the call. do not call list, so you're a scammer. So let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Did I ask you for any to pay anything at all? I did not ask you to pay anything at all. Scammer. A scammer would ask you to pay something, right? Scammer. Absolutely not. You're, You're a just trying scammer. to be. No, I'm not a scammer. Scammer. I'm not. I'm not sitting here trying to. Uh, uh, make you pay for anything. No, you're, you're just, just you're just calling uh, people in spite of the fact that they're on the do not call list. A scammer. Uh, well, look, look. You're just you're just afraid that you know I'm trying to sell you something. I'm not trying to sell you anything at all. You ever seen yourself you're on uh, any of those YouTube channels where they put the scammers and the people that call up on the telephone and try to screw them around like they ever watch any of that on YouTube? Nobody's trying to screw you or something. What are you talking about? I'm Nobody's talking about you, you being a scammer. Nobody's trying to screw you. Yeah. What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Nobody's you. Trying to, Nobody's trying to take money from you or anything. You're just so, like, uh, like really, like, I don't know what's going on, what happened to you that, you know, that you think that. What happened was I signed up for the do not call list, and then you called me in spite of the fact that I'm on the do not call list. What's the so, name? So what's the name of your company? What's the name of the company that you work for? Like I said in the beginning, it's Solar Energy Pro. Solar Energy Pro, and what is the home office, the head location? Where are you located? Homestead, Florida. Homestead, Florida. And you guys don't know what the do not call list is down in Homestead? You don't have access to that, I take it. 
Uh, it has nothing to do with that. You just, you just being frantic about it. I'm being frantic. Yep. You're a scammer. Only a scammer would say something so kooky. What's the matter with you? Uh, what's the matter with you, man? You're the one that's thinking that. But nobody ever uh, would say that to somebody that, oh, if you're on do not call list, you know, you shouldn't be calling me. That's why I'm thinking your authorization, if you're on do not, do not call list, I, I, we have the contractor can be able to reach you out. But you're like, oh, I'm on do not call list. If you're on do not call list, we technically cannot dial nothing about you at all. No number, not, not even one number, the first and the last number. You're going to be so cool on YouTube. Have you ever seen yourself on YouTube before talking in circles like this? Uh, well, what does YouTube has to do with this? I want to know if you've ever seen yourself on YouTube doing this little phone scam thing that you're trying to pull. Nobody's trying to scam you or anything. I'm in the USA. I'm not scamming you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the do not call list and you're calling so that your company does not follow the law regarding the do not call list. That makes you a scammer. We, we have, we have, we, we have, have uh, a do not call list, of course. You, but it doesn't appear to be working very well. You are on on the do not call list database. So right. What are you talking about? Is just look, look, man. Um, well, I'm trying. What I'm trying to do here is just trying to book you a simple appointment, whether it be virtual online or just somebody meeting you in real at your residence. Well, again, you're working for a company that doesn't do follow you, do the law. Think, do you think? Do you think a scammer would come to your residence? I don't know, and I don't care. They call me on the phone yeah, all the time, though. No. A scammer wouldn't come at your residence. A scammer would try to take your credit card numbers, steal your social security number, uh -huh. probably do something like that. But okay. I'm not a, we are not a scammers. I don't work for scammers. Well, then why are you calling me? Like I said, I'm trying to help you out no, by not. not being electricity bill at all. If you were trying to help me out, you would pay attention to the do not call list, the national do not call list, and you would abide by the law. It, 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 automatically, we refuse the call if you're on the DM no. list. The DM <laughs> no, DM no, it database. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. How did we end up on the phone then? Did I call you? Is that what you're going to try and tell me next? No, probably somebody else that you're talking about. I don't know. You're talking about probably somebody else you talked to that gave you that impression of trying to scam you or something. You're talking in circles. You're not making any sense. You're not answering my questions. You work for no, a I'm company never, that does not follow the law on the national do not call list. I am on the do not call list. You called me. So you are working for a company that's fraudulent. That makes you a scammer. Is this all starting to come no. together for you now? Of course not. You're of course not. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're, you're a messing. scammer. Why are you doing this? Why don't you get a job somewhere else where you're not pestering people on the phone that are on the do not call list? Why don't you, if, well, you, if you don't believe I'm, me, ask your boss. Ask him if he's a scammer and he'll go, yeah, yeah, I'm a scammer. I'm sorry. I should have told you. Uh, a scammer was trying to make, take money from you. I'm not trying to make money, uh, take money from you, okay? Well, I don't believe you for a minute. Why are you calling me if I'm on the do not call list then? What's uh, that all what, about? What, def what defines a scammer? Uh, somebody's trying to take your money, right? Why are you calling me if I'm on the do not call list? What defines a scammer? Somebody's trying to take your cash, your money, your wallet. How about right? just, how about just um, waste my time? Waste your time? Yeah. Uh, well, what about my time? Your... Nobody's trying to waste your time here, man. According to the camera that I've got going in front of me, you've been trying to waste my time for 15 minutes and 10 seconds. Well, you're the one that prolonged all of this. Yeah, yeah, I don't oh, know what you oh, think. Oh, 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 I'm on the do not call list. So your company is not following the law. How, how is this so hard for you to understand? I, I tell you what, just keep paying your electricity, okay? Okay, you just keep watching YouTube because you're going to be famous. 
Oh, uh, just keep what uh, look. Just keep paying your electricity, okay? Hey, since when do you tell? I, I, I like since when, when do you tell me what to do? When did that start happening? I w I would like for you to pay thousands of dollars a year on electricity. Oh, there right. it is. The scammer attitude that we all knew you'd have. We knew it'd come out eventually, scammer. Uh, yeah, pay for electricity. Scammer. For electricity. Oh, you're the meanest yeah. scammer ever, telling me to pay for electricity. Ooh. Keep paying for electricity, man. Oh, I'm trying to help you out. No, I you're not. Here, just no, you're not. A, giving me a whole hard time about it. But no, I'm not. You know what? Just, sure, let's just keep this professional here. And well, professional? Just, you work for a company that breaks the law. You have no chance of being professional. You're a scammer. No, what defines a scammer to you? When a company that calls me on the telephone that's not supposed to call me on the telephone because I'm on the do not call list. You are not on the do not call list. Yes, man. I am. But anyway, thank you for thank you for uh, for this. Okay, thank you're, you for uh, this weird. brief conversation. You're weird. And you have a great rest of your day. You're okay? weird. You're weird. Go get a job somewhere else. I'm not weird. I'm trying to help you're you out. You're weird. Trying, you're lying trying to me. To help you out. You're telling me I'm not on the do not call list and that's supposed to help me out? You're just being weird. What's the matter with you? I'm not being weird. I'm trying weird. to help you out. Keep, you're a weird scammer. Keep, 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 keep paying for that electricity. You're a Good weird luck. scammer. Hey, Keep being out of the yin yang. Go, go oh, okay. no. He said, let's keep it professional. <laughs> oh, well, you're gonna, I, I, YouTube's going to love you, brother. Man, I'm trying to help you out. No, here. you're not. You're just, you're just trying to be persistent that you're on the do not call list. I am on but the anyway. do not call list, blockhead. What's the matter with you? You don't think I... <laughs> 20 minutes later, this guy still... Oh, my God. I can't take it. When the line of light is so placed as normally to extend part way across the soundtrack, and the sound-controlled variations cause the position of one end of the line to move transversely of the track, a record known as a unilateral variable area soundtrack is produced. Line has been connected. Security administration. What can I do for you? Uh, hi, I just received a call. It said there was some sort of an issue with my social security number or something. Oh, oh. all right. So can you help me out with a person the last name before we go and proceed further? Yes. I'll explain uh, you regarding this call. Uh, yes, my first name is Bam, and my last name is Boozler. Bam Boozler. How old are you? I'm 53. All right. So the reason why we're contacting was to inform you some legal enforcement following your social security number and honor your name. That's the reason your call has been connected today. Okay. So at this point of time, have you lost your information, like your personal information, like your driving license, your state ID in the past? Uh, no. All right. So do you share your information with your friend or family members or your relative? Uh, no, no, I don't think so, no. Uh, you have a car under your name or you're still working at this point of time? I've got a what under my name? You you have a car? Do you have a car under your name? Do I have a car? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, can you grab a seat of paper and paint so that you can write down some information? Uh, I got a paper and pen right here. So what's your car in zip code? Uh, 60604. Uh, we've just moved to Chicago. Okay. Give me one second. What's the city? Uh, we've just moved to Chicago. Okay, which, uh, which state? Uh, Chicago was in, is in Illinois. Okay. All right. I got it. So, uh, you have a pen. You can write it down my name. My name is Foster. And my extension is 91946. 
91946 is your what? My extension. 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 And what was your name, sir? Foster. Foster. All right. Lay it on me, Foster. Um, Let me know what's going on. down your case. Okay, case case number. I'm sorry. Yes, your case I your case ID is DC seven four zero one. Seven four zero one. Okay. Yes, can you read me by my extension? Your extension is uh, looks like nine one nine four six is what I got, uh, Foster. And um, what about your case ID? Uh, you said it was DC 7401. Okay. So, can you just spell it out for me your first and your last name one more time? First name is Bam. B A M. Last name is Boozler. Mm -hmm. B O O Z L E R. Okay. I got it. So, here, my question is. As you told you that someone has been misusing your information at this point of time and they're doing some kind of criminal activities under your name. Okay. That's the reason we are the Social Security Administration we're going on this investigation in order to find out the person who is using your information. Okay. So you're still working or you're retired at this point, at I, this point of time? I'm still self-employed. Oh. So at this point of time, see, everything has been linked under your social, is that correct? Everything has been what under my social? Yes, everything has been attached to your social with all your personal information, right? I would assume so, yeah. And right now, my question is, see, once we go ahead and suspend, once we go ahead and freeze down all your information, you will lose each and every information, right? In order not to do that, we are the Social Security Administration, we're going on this investigation in order to keep everything safe and secure, your information right now. As you told you, someone has been using your information and a case file against your name and against your social security for money laundering and drugs trafficking at this point of time. Oh, drugs trafficking? Yes, and money laundering. And money laundering. And money and laundering. Wow. And over... Wow. Yes. How does something like that happen, uh, F Foster? See, it's happened. Uh, See, we receive legal enforcement information from the courthouse. Okay. From the federal office. Okay. So. The federal office, wow. This seems pretty serious. What, uh, what are we gonna do? You need to, see, before we go ahead and do anything, you need to keep everything safe and secure, and you need to follow the protocol. We need to follow what we're instructing you to keep everything safe and secure. Sure. Before we go ahead and freeze down, in order to find out the freeze, route cause freeze you down? In your information. What is, what's the freeze down that yes. you're talking about? What is the freeze down? I mean, it's cold outside, but what are you talking about? We need about? to go ahead and... Yeah. So we need to go ahead and freeze down all the fake accounts that they are opening up under your name. Oh, the fake account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Freeze. Name. Oh, yeah. Freeze down the fake... Yeah, the fake account. I got it. Okay. So, what you need to do over this recorded line, you need to keep everything in a privacy. Okay. It's called as being a federal recorded line with okay. a three-way conference. Three-way? Right? Every conversation has been recorded. Yes. Every conversation has been con uh, recorded to play inside the courthouse to make sure that you are not the one who's involving in this activity. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so have right. you been to the state of Texas before? Uh, yes, I've been to the state of Texas a number of times, but it's been a while ago. Uh, a couple of years ago, I, I had bought a, okay. I bought a Toyota Corolla just specifically for the trip down there. Okay. So, see, we, uh, the investigation started when we found an abandoned car in the southern border of Texas. Okay. The car contained some blood, drugs, and residues inside it. It contained After the what? Investigations, the, the car had what in it? Some blood, some blood drugs, drugs, you know the drugs, right? Blood, blood drugs? Yeah, yeah, that's not good. So this looks completely suspicious to us. It does, yes, because it does. right now we don't know which very, one belongs to you and the information that is being Foster, or generated by the Foster, Foster. I can I completely understand why this seems suspicious to you, Foster. I totally understand. What do we have to do? What do we have to do to clear this up? This is a. This sounds like a mess. I will tell you what I need to do. Okay. Step by step. Okay, step by step. 
So at this point of time, how many bank accounts are you maintaining? Well, just uh, three, I guess. I have two personal accounts and then uh, a business account. Okay. And what uh, can you tell me the name of the bank? Which bank are you banking with? The bank that the bank is, uh, well, the, most of it's at the credit union, the West Wisconsin Credit Union, here in West Wisconsin. Credit unions, and what about the another bank? No, that's it. You have only one credit, uh, you met in only one bank account, right? No, three bank accounts in one bank. How come? Uh, that's pretty normal, I guess. I don't know. Otherwise, if I, if I put it in more than one bank, then I'd have to drive across town to the other bank. So that I put so the... You're both. holding both checking and saving, right? Yeah. Well, I have two checking accounts and one savings account. The one the one checking account is just for the business, though. For when I need to buy tools. So, so what's the available balance that you have in this credit union and checking account? Uh, which one, uh, business or personal? The personal one. Uh, let's think about that. Uh, my personal checking was probably about uh, oh five thousand dollars, five something like five thousand six hundred or something. It's that. I don't know. I'd have to. And what about in saving? Oh, personal savings. Oh, I think I've got about sixty. It just went up. I just made another deposit. Just uh, just under sixty-two thousand. So it's like sixty-one thousand eight hundred or something like that. And what about in this uh, basis checking account? The basis has oh, uh, usually that's just got about three thousand dollars in it or something. Just in case I need to buy a bunch of lumber,s tools, two by fours, board stretchers, uh, sky hooks left-handed hammers, whatever, whatever I need to have. So I usually keep about $3,000 in that account. So this is your fun because right now we need to go ahead and shut down and push down all the account to make sure to find out the real cost and who is using your information. The right. government has to keep the time to keep your funds safe and secure. Okay. So right now what you need to do so you need to go to the bank and withdraw the fund, watch in where you can keep your funds safe and secure. Okay. Because if the government, according to the government law, if we found any fund on your account, it's like what? $500, if the government, then the if the government, bank money. If the government what? According to the government law, according to the federal law, if we found more than $500 in your account, then they suspect you that you are the one who is doing these criminal activities. And then uh, then it can't waste the black money. That's your black. work hard money. Your black. own work hard money. Yes. Black money? That doesn't make any sense. Anyone who can afford 22 pounds of cocaine would sure have more money in their account than I'd have in mine. But, uh, okay. What do we got to yeah. do? I told you, so many bank accounts we found. Yeah. So what's yeah. the point? So you want to keep your funds safe and secure, or we can just go ahead and push down all their accounts? Whatever you recommend, Foster. I'd like to keep them safe and secure, I guess. Could you just freeze down all the other ones that just aren't, aren't at the credit union? Would that work? I'm not saying to close down your credit union bank. Oh, you yeah, of course not. close down all the fake account that they're using. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, let's do, I would do that right away, Foster. That makes, that makes a lot of sense to me. So right now, what do you need to do? You need to go to the bank and withdraw your funds. And I will tell you where we can keep your funds safe and secure, and I will start working on your paperwork, and we will set appointment to meet your physical address with the two officers. One is from the U.S. Treasury Department, one is from the Social Security Administration. Okay. So I will come along with all the paperwork for you. Okay. All right. Along with a check. A check for what? Along with a Treasury check for you. For what? What do check. I get? A, what do I get? To bring you a check. What do I get a check for? Right now, what you need to do is you, you should not keep the fund in cash with you. Okay, right? yeah. You need to keep in that government certified locker, I will tell you. Why, why, would, you I, why would I have to do that? I've got a safe here that I can literally lock. i got a gun safe here with, you know, 60 guns in it. I could easily put uh, all my money in the corner of that. Would that work? No, no. Why wouldn't, that, why wouldn't it work to put them in a safe? 
the more the governments can suspect you at any good time. The government can suspect me at any time? Yes. Okay, suspect away, that's the fine. I'm not... The investigate you at any time. Yeah. So you would go ahead and do that, or... What about it? Do, do what or what? You're not making a lot of sense, Foster. Did you get much sleep last night? Man, you seem kind of tired. Are you okay? Oh? Hello? Hello? That's your plane with me. Yes, I'm gonna put you on my YouTube channel. You're a terrible scammer. Why don't you get a job? Go, go, go and just pull up your YouTube channel. I don't care about it. I'm gonna. And it's gonna no stay one there. can come and arrest you. It's gonna stay, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It'll stay there forever. It'll stay there forever, your mom will see it, no your friends will see it. No one can come and arrest me, even your grandpa, even your talking. You don't even... never bite me, okay? <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the law you have to worry about. It's done, Foster. <laughs> oh, these guys, they just, uh, they just love to call me. I don't know why, but they do. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in. When both ends of the line of light are caused to move transversely of the track, a record known as a bilateral variable area soundtrack is produced.